What's up, Trekkies? Hi, so I, while I was doing Monday's video, I checked the So Facebook page and I got a thing. It is like the list of all the bonuses. Beats for, 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 yeah, I'm kind of excited. I haven't actually read it because I was too busy editing and stuff, anyways. But apparently it's like all the rewards that will be, oh, oh wow. Oh, there's the chart of rewards by goal. Wow. Uh, it'll have the Delta Recruit goal, the Delta Recruit reward, and then the account reward. Remember, this was good. Account reward. Anyways. Hi. Huh. Complete the tutorial. Delta Recruit trait. Earn additional dilithium ore with each NPC defeated. And teammates also gain this benefit. Note, trait only active during Delta Recruitment event. Okay. Account reward, none. That's a basic one. I'm not gonna go over too many of these because it's, well, okay, it's, it's, it's pretty long. It's not that long, sorry, not that long. The chart below, once per character, weekly event rewards. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, there's a Q&A. I thought this was getting further and further. So this is reach level 10, choice of mark four very rare equipment. See footnote of choice details. Level 20, mark six, level 30, mark eight, level 40, mark 10, level 50 is Reputation Jumpstart Pack, 250 of each Reputation Mark, two times Delta Vanguard tech upgrades, 500,000 energy credits, which if you're a free character, that's 1 20th of your cap. <laughs> 1 million? 1 10 million? Oh, I don't know. I, I'm lifetime, so anyways. Huh. 525,000 expertise, I almost said experience, and then 10,000 Reputation Only Dilithium. Right, I guess it's only, oh, only, oh, you can only use it on reputation projects. Oh, at least that's what I'm guessing. Anyways, so for the account reward going up, it's 10 of rep any reputation mark, 3,500, 200, 500. So if you get your Delta recruit to get to level 50, you get 500 of any reputation mark, as well as 200, 100, so the 345. So 745. Total reputation marks for any singular reputation. So if you've got one of those reputations that's kind of a pain in the butt to get your reputation marks for, even with the easier system, then you know. <laughs> Especially if you don't want to be doing your. Anyways, that's that's a different topic. Anyways, uh, reach level one in any R and D school. <laughs> do one research for that. Do one research study thing. The one that takes like 20 hours. Buy random R&D school specialist duty officers and Gumar, the Aegis R&D specialist. Oh, that's nice. Equivalent crafting material, and then the account gets the equivalent crafting materials to two times the C store R&D packs minus catalysts and a small R&D XP bonus pool. Oh, nice. Yes. That's really cool. Yeah. Five in any R&D school. Set any one R&D school to level 10. That's cheating. Sorry. <laughs> but it's only the first time you get it, so you get to five, you immediately can get that one to ten, or get a second one to ten. And then the account is equivalent crafting materials to five times C store R and D packs minus catalysts and a large R and D XD bonus pool. See, this is this the the what I want for my main character Raleigh. This is looking pretty good. I don't really need reputation marks at this point. You know, there's probably gonna be a new reputation that comes out. Probably some Iconian attacking force, the IAF. I don't I don't know what it's called. Um, complete an episode arc. That's just the first one. All right. Uh, you, uh, the recruit gets 100 fleet marks, 1,000 dilithium ore, and 500,000 energy credits. You're going to get rich doing all this. I mean, there's a million energy credits right there. If you don't spend any from reaching level 50 and completing a story arc, then your account, everyone on your account gets 100 fleet marks and 1,000 dilithium ore. Um, when you complete half the storyline episodes, which I can do, I love the storyline episodes, uh, same as account, and then complete all of them up to the start of the Dyson Sphere, same as account. So I'm going to read the account now. Uh, Starship trait, Temporal Insight. When activating a hull heal on self, gain two seconds of damage immunity, max once per 45 seconds. Okay. I have no Starship traits, so this is amazing. Uh, complete all of them. That's pretty cool. Improved Temporal Insight. I hope it replaces it so you can't double up on them. When activating a hull heal on self, gain four seconds of damage immunity. Also, 
Photonic engineering officer candidate. Oh. Do I have a photonic one? No, I don't have a photonic one. I have the Android one. That's right. Fully customizable. Oh, fully customizable. I like that. That's cool. Join a fleet. Oh, that won't be hard. For me, I'm already in a fleet. I can just be like, hey, Hal, can you like get my guy in the fleet suite? Uh, immediately, 500 fleet marks. 500, 50,000 fleet only dilithium, which is great because I can just dump that into the frickin' comma rake. Hey, hey. <laughs> no, the comma rake doesn't use it right now. Uh, 100 of each holding commodity, spire, mine, and embassy. Oh, people are gonna be building up on those and we don't have, uh, Note reward requires level 30. Oh, well, I'll just level them up to 50 then have Hal, have Hal invite him because I can level real fast. That's cool. Your account gets uh, 50 fleet marks and 50 fleet only dilithium. 50, that five. Read your freaking commas, TJ. 50 fleet marks, 5,000 fleet only dilithium. This is all down below. So if I've like screwed up somewhere, go ahead, comment, tell me. Tell me I've screwed up. <laughs> uh, gather all Iconian information. I don't know. And then gather all Iconian technology. Again, I don't know what that entails, but this is the, this is the achievement you have to unlock. The, sa it, the, the reward is same as account-wide. So the account-wide reward is ground device, paradox corrector, Team-wide heal and res. Okay, yeah, that was really useful. Thanks, Task Force Omega Level 5. Can be used while defeated. Oh, oh, so it's better than Task Force Omega by a long... Gather all Iconian technology is space device, temporal negotiator, instantly reduce all bridge officer cooldowns by 50%. Five minute cooldown. Hey, hey. I'll, damn. Because I can just, because I, I, I sometimes have to just click everything. And you get that fire everything! Just <laughs> and it's on a five minute cooldown too! What else do I got that's on a five minute cooldown? Photonic fleet. Nice. Uh, okay. Moving down to the all equipment contained in these packs is bound to character and has a zero EC cell value. All assigned mods are static up to purple quality and will be the same for every Delta Recruit character. Uh, these equipment can be upgraded if you like, but will remain BOP and zero value and will gain random mods if the quality increases. Each level milestone, 10, 20, 30, 40, you may choose one of the following equipment packs. There are four of them, obviously. You can probably choose the same one each time, but ground equipment, oh, it contains all of the following. Uh, assault rifle, energy resistance, body armor, personal shield generator, and kit modules for all slots appropriate to profession and kit slots. If you're a science officer, you'll get a science kit and you'll get like the kit with like two medic, two, three other things. Anyway, space equipment, all of the following, which is um, deflector dish, improves primarily science abilities, uh, impulse with a plus turn, covariant shield with a plus cap, Warp core or singularity core if you happen to be a <laughs> um, Torpedoes, mine launcher, fed and KDF get photon, Romulan get plasma. Then there's a space console, which is all of the following, a shield capacitance science consoles, plus one particle generator console at level 40, all damage resistance engineering console, and plus one turn rate console at level 40. So open these at level 40, I guess. <laughs> uh, energy damage tactical consoles, Fed, Phaser, KDF, Disruptor, ROM, Plasma is the thing, but you know, Polaron, Polaron for the win! The number of consoles increases as each level at each level milestone in an attempt to fully outfit your next tier starship. Got that? Got that? Got that. Space weapons. So all of the following, it's, uh, it's beam arrays, dual heavy cannons, and turrets. That's what you get out of that. And it'll match your energy types. That's a Phaser for Fed, Disruptor for KDF, Romulan, Plasma, because that's just historically what they are. Uh, all of this is subject to change. <laughs> hey, gonna let you guys go. Uh, apparently I will be doing this, apparently. I said I probably wasn't before, but then I think I, I think I put in the clause I had to see the rewards. And, I, and I'm intrigued, at least for my main character. Cause I need starship traits. Oh, catch you guys later. I should probably log into. Bye.